time for some Blaze Blue Central Fiction Ikuyo What's going on guys? I'm gonna be doing this a little raw. This is just a few uh, like a few series of videos of my initial reactions on the Blaze Blue Central Fiction location test that just barely took place. And I want to shout out my buddy Shirai Yuki, or Yuki for short, for uploading these location tests. He's actually messaged me saying, uh, thinking about what, uh, about, you know, the Noel stuff. And I will get to that video. I, mean, I am going to make a video comparing uh, Chrono Phantasm and Central Fiction Noel. Definitely going to happen, guys. Don't worry. That's going to happen really soon. But for right now, I do want to... Um, actually just look at the base with central fiction i've watched the first location test but not up close we're gonna actually try to dissect not dissect but just me initially reacting what i think of the blaze blue central fiction what types of fixes they fixed so far and all the characters that they, it was a much longer location test this was like yuki upload around three videos 25 minutes each kind of roughly around there so if you guys want to check these out go ahead and check out his channel it's in the description below check out his channel you guys can see these replays for yourself but for the time being i'm going to be doing some of the uh location test footages and i'm going to be watching them and we're going to be watching them together and i'm going to be you know my initial reactions on blaze blue central fiction you know what i mean so let's get started here yeah so hardly any editing magic i kind of cut it out a little bit there reason being is because uh i wanted to see if i could find a better quality video but unfortunately there isn't any my boy yuki is the only one with the location the second batch of location test so shout outs to him but unfortunately it's only like 360p and it's not looking very good but it's okay we can manage it very early raw footage so we're gonna be doing this now let's get going Let's see what we got. Alrighty. So, okay. <clears throat> Very good. So far, I'm liking the announcer for this game. This, the, Actually, this is possibly my favorite announcer in any Blaze Blue game. Reason being is because it's very... She's very uh, energetic. I really like the... It, it just makes you want to play the game. You know what I mean? The announcer is very important for a fighting game. And this announcer does the job right. And the, the music, what I, from what I'm hearing right now, very dynamic and I love it. And very good character select screen music. So we got Noel versus Jin. Yes, Noel. Let's go. Oh my god, what the hell? Yo, that was sick. What was that? I want it. I want it like now. <laughs> So we got Jin and his regular shenanigans. I've heard that Jin is not as good as he is in BBCX. I like that. She has like this roll. She has this barrel roll. She grows on the ground and she shoots you low. I'm pretty sure it's not an actual low. Um, I'm pretty sure that's going to be replacing... Because that's very similar to uh, Jumping Air for, uh, uh, 4D. Wow, look at that. She just does a barrel roll right in front of you and just shoots you. That's awesome. That's going to be great for the neutral. It's going to catch a lot of people off guard. That's awesome. Oh, my God. That's so sick. It crosses up and everything, too. Oh, my God. I didn't even know that. So she has to be seen two, the two new moves, okay? We have the barrel roll, which actually crosses up, which is awesome. And also, we've seen the... Um, with the air move that she has. She like short hops into the air and she does like this spiraling gun move. It's really awesome. I'm trying to uh, bait burst it. So far, okay, we got Noel confirmed just like always. 1700 damage. Um, yeah, we're all good there. That move, that. Oh, we got overdrives. Overdrives are time now. I actually realized that. And then, okay, so then the uh, assault through is just like in uh, Chrono Phantasma. It has like this. Really weird shift where, yeah, it, it's, you, you know what I mean. Okay, he got the crouch confirm. Let's see. All right, so he's got some BBCX, uh, BBCPEX combos. Very nice. Oh, he got the crouch confirm. Didn't get it, though. I love that. That is so sick. I love how she does the barrel roll. She still has her, her uh, command grab. That's unfortunate right there. I'm not sure if, because they took out that uh, jumping 4D move that I'm talking to you about. So she can't do, like, the... Uh, ex uh, Chrono Phantasma Extend uh, Air Combo. Uh, I'm not sure if they gave her the sl the the no momentum uh, jumping drive. I'm pretty sure that's what they did because he's not using it. That's unfortunate. I I don't like that. But they gave her a lot of cool stuff. That is so sick, man. You will not expect that. Sometimes 
those types of moves that, that catches you off guard, I'm pretty sure that's uh, high moves that don't don't hit her like that like that. You know, they don't hit her out of that move. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. They're playing neutral right now. Noel's bleeding and he's just trying to make it for something work. Gets the air confirmed. Oh, but misses the last hit, which is odd. Which is very odd. But it's okay. That's probably a very big rarity. Um, oh, I, I'm loving... Okay. The art style, you can... I mean, it's not very good right now. Hold on. Let me actually fix this. Um... Let's fix. There we go. That's much better. Uh, the the actual art and the graphics for the game are actually a lot different. Now, before I said they weren't, that it wasn't that different. I thought it looked like Chrono Phantasma, but it looks actually a lot more different. I like it. It has like this Continuum Shift Calamity Trigger look to it. Chrono Phantasma looked a little bit more realistic, if I do, if I can say that. Uh, something like that. It just looked a lot sharper. I like this animation right here. I like the art, the, the, the graphics. There you go. Okay, that's off counter hit. So I'm not sure if you could do that in uh, Chrono Phantasma, but there you go. You can do that here. Still got that. Oh, you got the overdrive. Oh, she, of course, gets that that back. She gets the, um, the, the momentum driven. Wow, that's so... Did she just drive cancel? Hold on. Before we move on, guys, sorry. Before we, I, I was saying, uh, she, I, when she goes into overdrive, she gets her momentum back from her jumping drive. That's what I was saying. Um, all right, so you got the counter assault. Let's see this. Hold on, I want to see this. Oh my god, that was sick. Hold on a minute. That is very, very interesting right there. Okay, she goes into the overdrive, of course, and tries to get it going. I don't know if that replaced 2D, if that's the two, new 2D. I haven't looked into the, the 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 forums yet. Wow. So, apparently, you can now cancel out. Of course, I'm going to look more into this. So, she has this barrel roll looking move. I like it. She canceled it with, uh, I'm guessing it's that new mechanic in the game. I don't know if that's even the case. To me, it looked kind of like a Vorpal. <laughs> looked like a Vorpal, so I'm not sure. I, I have to look more into the game. Of course, like I said, it was this is first initial reactions of Bla Blaze Boot uh, Central Fiction. That looked a lot like Vorpal to me. Um, she, like, canceled out of her drive, which is very interesting to me. Um, let's see. I couldn't get the air confirmed. He actually went with a with a 2-2-C for some reason. Oh, try to get him with the, with the 2-D there. All right, still uh, okay. Uh, uh, optic barrel is still dash cancelable. Pretty awesome. All right, trying to play the neutral right here, trying to get the, a good hit. Ooh, he saw that coming. Oh my god, he almost had it there. I don't know. I don't think she even has uh, something to confirm off of the air, you know, unless it's just regular. I don't know what she has because she did, you know, jumping. Oh, Noel, Noel's done. But oh well, GG's. Noel just barely did a jumping uh, 2C, and uh, and that that's you know the shooting down. But of course they took out the jumping 4D, which is what connected it after jumping 2C in Chrono Phantasma. So I don't know if they added something so you can uh, get more damage off of air confirms, or if they took that out and all you can do is just jumping C, jumping B, jumping C, jumping D, and then into Revolver Blast. I hope that's not the case, because that would be very detrimental to her game. We'll see, though. I'm gonna. I need to look. Uh, I need to look more into it. Okay, there we go. Some posts, some some artwork from uh, Central Fiction. Let's go into. I love this character select screen. I love the portraits. Love the announcer. Love the dynamic music. Of course, you can change that just like in every Blaze Blue game. But the default, it's very like dynamic, heroic. You know, it, it feels like you're gonna play an awesome game. Um. To me, to be honest, when I first played Continuum Shift, well, I, I don't remember much from Continuum Shift, but when I played Chrono Phantasm for the first time, I was not in love with the character select screen uh, music. And that's that's a, that's actually kind of big for me in, in terms of like first impressions of a fighting game. Like the music. The music is great. Blaze has a great soundtrack. But sometimes, you know, when you don't have a great soundtrack or anything like that, for example, Vanilla Street Fighter 4, that that J-pop, that K-pop, sorry, not uh, not J-pop, K-pop stuff that they they, <laughs> the English K-pop stuff that they they gave us, that was I I hated it so much. 
Not only did they do a great job of replacing the announcer for Vanilla Street Fighter 4, but they did a good job also to replacing the music. Very good. We got Hakuman being Hakuman like always. He's got overdrive combos like always. And he's still going, still does monstrous damage. He looks really good in this version. Relius, I haven't seen too much from him. Hakume looks like he's going to be good again, of course. And I like how they put in the numbers in the overdrive or in your burst gauge to know how much more longer is going to be till, you know, it, it, it comes back. Like, it tells you. Like, do you see that number four? When it gets to ten, that, that's when your burst gauge comes back. So I like that. I like that how they give you a physical or like like a yeah, like a physical means to see when you're gonna get your burst back. Aguila I mean I Agi Agi something. It's that one move that Hakumin just did in the air. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, the default announcer I like it a lot more. It reminds me a lot of like continuum shift and uh, calamity trigger. Chrono Phantasma's... Oh my god, that was kind of sick. Chrono Phantasma's announcer was a little too serious for me, I, I feel like. That's why I had to replace it with, like, Noel or anyone else. Oh! Oh god! Okay, so these co these Relius combos are not the same as they were before. Uh, from what I'm looking at, you know what I mean? They're not the same as they were before. Let's see this match and hopefully we can get another really good match, you know what I mean? Oh, we got overheads for days, man. Jeez, Olu. All right. Hakuman's looking pretty, pretty good right now, but who knows? Relius is looking kind of hurt, <laughs> but who knows? I might be completely wrong. Oh man, his counter has like this dash move now. What the heck? Look at that. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a new move. That's for sure. I want to see the new uh, distortions when you go into overdrive. Those new things. I want to see those. At least one so I can see what one looks like. Ooh. Oh, we got overdrives. That's it. There it is right there. Holy damn. Holy crap. Hold on. So there's one right there where you can only do it in overdrive. I'm guessing it's really easy to connect. Look at that. That's it right there. That's one of the uh, the new distortions that everyone has a new distortion where you can only do it in overdrive. So that's that's a Hakuman's I'm I'm assuming. So hopefully it is because I don't want to be wrong on this. <laughs> so we got Hakuman. Hakuman's looking pretty strong. Jin is looking neutral. Um, let's see. We got Celica and Hakuman. I'm actually not that interested in that. If you guys are interested in that, go ahead in the description below and just go and watch the. Go watch the replays. I do want to see Hibiki. I want to see... Oh, well, hold on. This is this is actually kind of interesting. Hazama and Ragna. That's interesting. I do want to see Hibiki and Naoto. I do want to see those new characters in action right now. Okay. Got Hazama and Ragna. The Blood Edge. Let's go. Let's see how how, how much different they are in this version. I know Ragna is a, lot, a little bit different from his uh, Chrono Phantasma Extend version. Um, he's a lot better in Extend... But in this version, uh, he seems a little bit... He got nerfed just a little bit, but he's still good nonetheless because he's Ragna. Ragna has to be good, you know. Oh, here we go. Very nice. Alright, so it seems that Hazama's back to the to the stocks, not to the bars. Man, oh man. Yeah, they, they did nerf him in that aspect right there. You can only connect two of them except not... Uh, you can only do... Wow, that, that was sick, actually. That that reminds me of Shabras right there. Or Labras. That's a new move as well. So, yeah. So, Hazama now has stocks instead of a bar. Like an extend. So, you can only do two follow-ups after your Ouroboros. After that, you have to... I don't know if he can get it back while, when he when he hits you with an Ouroboros. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's like a cooldown time or you can re recover a stock by... No, you can't. They just answered it. Oh, no, wait a minute. Well, he just he did just cancel it, so I'm not sure. I don't know if they were... Did they replace Belial Edge for that one move, that one that drops down? That was an extend combo right there. Holy crap. Very nice. Good stuff. Ragnar still as good as always. 
So right off the bat, I can tell that they, they nerfed Hazama a little bit. I'm not sure of his other moves. Wow, that does not look safe at all, but I can see how that can can uh, take him out of, you know, kind of a... Well, what's the word I'm going to say? Uh, I was going to say, um, catch him off guard. That's what, that's what I meant. So it seems like for Hazama's stocks, there's like a cooldown. He has no stock. Oh, he's pressing with 5B. There we go. So you can still combo. All right. So it, it's not like a ground bounce anymore. It's kind of like a, uh, you you get you know like his stance, and then you go in for the overhead. It's the, the Hazama overhead, uh, with uh, overhead stance. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Um, the overhead stance, which is I think the stance into um, A. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, a, and uh, it's not a ground bounce anymore. It's actually you just lay down. You get, like, face-planted onto the ground, and then he can combo you. Just like he, he did in Extend with his 6C. So. With those shenanigans, Hazama shenanigans. Holy crap. Freaking Hazama, man. Whoop, missed the grab combo. You got a second chance. You got it. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Should have gone for 2D. Should have gone for 2D, Hazama. Let's go. Wow, that was really fast. He still got the Jesus kick. Jesus kick is as good as always. From what I can see, there's not too much of a difference. He still got pretty, pretty good. Um, he still got those combos. You know what I mean? Like the same combos as uh, Extend, uh, Chrono Phantasma. He just got the power up right there. So that means he, he's at an advantage and he's also got an attack power boost right there. So like I said, it just uh, it rewards the rushdown people. There you go. He got him. All right. Good stuff. Hazama's looking clean. I mean, he got a little nerfed because of that stock uh, thing. His drive got nerfed a little bit. But it seems like he still can cancel uh, into, uh, after Ouroboros, he can still cancel into a stance. Uh, that's new and extend. You know. Oh, we got Valkenhayn and Jin. Hold on. I actually do want to see if they nerfed Valkenhayn. Probably not. Valkenhayn will always be good because that stupid wolf form. He's so good. Let's see how good they, they gave him. All right. Damn, man. That wolf. He did three three K right there, man. That's pretty impressive. Even though that's not rare in extend, actually. Oh, he got a damage boost right here. Let's see this. Oh, he still got the extend. Um, that's new right there. That projectile with Jin. That's actually very interesting. I, and does that cost meter actually? Does the version that he used cost meter? Let's see. So his 2-2-C still... Uh, so his 2-2-C still uh, freezes them when they're still in the ice. When they're in the ice, it still uh, keeps them in the ice. When you do 2-2-C, like that. That does cost... That one does cost meter, so I'm pretty sure that he has two projectiles now. He has his regular icicle and he has this little ice star. And that, that version cost meter, which is a... I'm guessing that's a really, really good pressure tool. But against Valkenhayn, he can get out pretty much everything because that stupid wolf form. Look at that. Let's see it. Ooh, Valkenhayn with a new move. Is that an, I, I'm guessing that's an overhead. Distortion messes, messes up the combo. No blaming him, that's for sure. This is a new gen right here. <laughs> new gen, new game, new feel. That's for sure, but I'm liking the aesthetics of this game. I actually am liking the HUD. I am liking the HUD. I, I've been known to hate on the oh, Central Fiction HUD, but now I actually do like it. It's actually very nice. Now I'm looking at it more. You got the crouch confirmed. Then you get the full combo bursted. But with the wolf! Nice, good stuff. Good stuff. Alrighty. Well, that was pretty much all I wanted to see in uh, Central Fiction. Of course, I'm going to be coming back with some more um, Central Fiction videos. Of course. But for right now, this is my initial thoughts of Blaze Blue Central Fiction so far. Um, I'm liking the aesthetic of the game. I'm liking the uh, how they're doing things. Now... Before, when I saw the initially saw like the first location test, 
It looked a lot like Chrono Phantasma. I'm not going to lie. It looked a lot like it. From then on, I'm not sure. I mean, in my eyes, it looks a bit different. Like the art style and the graphics. It looks a little different. Um, I'm liking the, the, the graphic style of this game a lot more. It's a lot more continuum shifty, calamity triggery. You know what I mean? If that, that even makes sense. Um, so far, I'm liking what they're doing right now. I like how they're doing this location tests. Hopefully, we can get more more things soon. I like how they put in new moves. Um, what I don't like is how they haven't revealed any more nine information or any other characters. Hopefully, they'll bring out more characters. That's what I'm hoping for. Because if you think about this, how lazy is that that they brought in in Chrono Phantasma? They brought in like over five new brand new characters. Not even that. Over six brand new characters. But in this game, they brought in three. I don't know about that. Hopefully, they can fix that. Hopefully, they'll be able to bring out more characters. And uh, hopefully, we can get some more information if Jube is in the game or if more 9 information. I want to get on 9 as soon as possible. Um, it seems like everyone's back in the roster. They're doing their own thing now. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a Noel video and probably some other characters that I like. Some videos comparing them to ex to Chrono Phantasm Extend and Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Um, like I said, this is a very like raw, unedited video. My initial thoughts and reactions of Blaze Blue and the Blaze Blue uh, Central Fiction location tests. Um, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I really am. You know, uh, they did, they did uh, not a lot of new changes, but they did some pretty pretty good ones. I mean. I wish they would do a little bit more, of course, but I'm just being spoiled right now. <laughs> I'm just asking for too much at this point. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys in the next Blaze Blue video. Watch out for some more Central Fiction videos. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys.